G'day fellas, how are you going? Um, this is a very interesting morning so far and uh, I hope you're going to be excited as I am too. Um, I'm here with my cousin Alex. Hey. She's my shadow for the weekend. <laughs> she was in town, I thought, you know what, why not? Come and, come and test some boats. You're boating, you're not a boating expert, but you, you can be. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so um, we're on the Tsar. Imagine 130. This thing has got the twin 600 horsepower V12s for Mercury, and this is my very first experience with these motors. Um, uh, this is my first drive on this boat, but I have been learning. I went to the press conference and had a little bit of a um, an educational experience on the hull form, and I've been following these motors. And I tell you what, from sitting downstairs, it was bloody exciting because. These things, they've got two gears. If you're not familiar with these V12s, um, they're stationary. They don't go left and right like you'd be used to with a traditional outboard. The props are the only things that move and allow these stonking great big V12s to do their thing, stationary, and stay in the middle. I thought that would be a little bit uh, unnerving or a little bit strange, but you've got a rudder angle indicator here, and looking at it from the drone, it looks cool. Um, but the, the first thing that I've noticed uh, from sitting downstairs and not actually being up on deck is the blisteringly quick acceleration. Um, I said to the guys, my drone's not quick enough. I don't even think a, 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 the top level DJI drone would be suitable. I need a bloody military drone. Like this thing just hit close to 60 knots at top speed. So that was a lot of fun. So Ali, you, you get a seat, I think, get comfortable. How is that seat by the way? It's actually super comfortable. And when we went quick, I was like, if my shirt wasn't tucked in, it would have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a design feature. <laughs> okay, all right, so we've, um, the boat's about a 10 tonne boat. We've got the twin 600s, obviously. Um, we've got about 550 litres on board. There's five people uh, on board in total, the three blokes in the back, a couple of bags downstairs. We've got a 300 uh, litre water capacity, and we've got about 250 litres of water on board today. Um, so I'm just gonna get the boat moving initially. So I'm not going to go fast straight away. First observation is there is a new throttle base and handles for these new motors. So that is something to get used to. Um, you've got some gauges down here on the side here, a little digital screen as well. Um, and basically the active trim, uh, I've been told, is, the, is the, uh, the thing to use in speeds below 40 knots or up to 40. And then from 40 to 60, um, you probably want to do some manual trim to get a little bit of fine tuning out of it. But the throttle base itself, new design, pretty comfortable. Um, what you'd expect from Mercury. And my hand lands quite safely here. Reaching these controls here is not a problem. And you could rest your palm there if you need. I've got the safety on today just because it's such a quick boat. Manual key start here, joystick here, uh, bow thruster there. We've got the zip wakes. So not gonna use the zip wakes. Don't, I don't think this hull really needs it in these conditions. And we've got the adjustable uh, Zar a steering wheel just here. I'll cover the rest of the gauges a little bit later. Actually, I'll do that in the walkthrough uh, video. My fuel flow at the moment, uh, current speed of uh, 7.95 knots. I'm just sipping 70 litres, but it's not about these sorts of speeds. It's about going fast. So let's just get the boat up and moving. So these, Zar is an interesting company. They're an Italian company, and I'm gonna do hat back for this. They, um, these guys from Italy, they've been around for 40 years. They've been traditionally focused on um, essentially smaller boats, tenders, like littler ribs. And this is their first foray into the maxi rib market. And what, the reason why I was so excited to get out and test this boat is because of the hull form that these guys have designed. They're, they've got a really nice cutting section up at the front of the hull, which then causes the waves to do a bit of this action, which then sends the aeration under the tubes. So you combine that, that nice entry, with the aeration on the tubes, and then the, the I think there's about four hull steps going down the middle of the boat. And like right now, I'm just doing some gentle turns from left to right now, and I've got some boat wash in a second, which I'm gonna go through. You can feel, you can actually feel the aeration of the boat, um, or, or happening underneath the hull, I should say, going through some waves now, hitting that at 27, and the wash is going out to the side, and these guys are dry, so that, that's cool. Um, 
Yep, white shirts will know if they get wet because they got white shirts on. But that was, that's very interesting. So I, I did that at 27, 29 knots. These motors don't even feel like they're woken up at that speed. We're 3,900 revs, consuming 300 litres an hour. Um, let's give it a little bit more speed. We've got a little bit more wash coming now. We're gonna go through some waves. I'm just gonna hit them at 32 knots. On us now, one, two, three. Dry, dry once again. So feeling good. How are you feeling, Ali? Yeah, no, not wet yet. <laughs> That's good, all right. Okay, 34 knots, 34 knots, 4,300 revs. Um, I think we just, let's just give the boat a little bit more juice. This is too fun not to. So, boy, I can, Oi, feel that. I can feel, oh, 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 I can feel that extra gear. I can feel it kick into gear. So that's just sitting at 5,400 revs and we're doing 47 knots. I've got more to play with. I'm gonna just go out of active trim. I'm going to manual trim now. Checking around me all clear. Just gonna get a little bit of manual trim up. Accelerating through 45 knots. I hope you can hear me on the microphone. Got a bit of wind vortices just coming through here. 48 knots, 48 knots and climbing. 50 knots and climbing. <laughs> 52 knots and climbing. I've got a seagull up ahead. <laughs> Seagull's gonna get out of the way. No chance. Okay, 53, 54. Holy moly, this thing's an animal. Okay. I'm just gonna back it off there and we're just gonna do a slow turn. We're just gonna create some more runway for us. This thing is an animal. So, you can, I, I'm burning 500 liters an hour at that speed. You can really notice that extra, um, you can notice it kick into gear there. And I think my immediate takeaways with this hull it's very well suited to this ridiculous power that we've got up. I've slowed down to 40 knots just now, and 40 knots feels, it feels like 20 knots on other boats, to be fair. So let's just back it off. What I love about this style of hull, Ali, is like, here we are in South France. You got a town there, you got a castle there, another marina over there, at a bloody island with a castle, probably a coffee shop. There's so many things. If, like when you can cruise at speeds like this, yeah. you're only ever five minutes away. So I talk about the fuel flows at, you know, well they are kind of high numbers with an engine like this, but we are going to be there in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and I love the like, oh my god! And in this sort of like environment, it's amazing, isn't it? So that's just so cool. So what we're going to do? We're going to bring the boat to a full stop, and we're going to do from we're going to do from um, from stop to full speed downwind and just see how it feels because I just want to test out those gears once again. We're coming off the plane because normal outboard engines, you, it's just one gear. You, you clip the thing into gear and you just go and you just come up through the rev range and you're relying on the motor and the torque that it produces to give you that power from zero to hero. Yeah. But this boat, it has two gears, so it has a low gear and a high gear, and it, it actually, what I, I could feel the boat go into warp speed as we started to pass through that 40 knots, and I'm assuming that was the second gear sort of doing its thing. It's very smooth um, though. It is, isn't it? So, being a boatie, I was like, <laughs> So uh, that's another takeaway. These motors, for, for twin V12s, these, they're quiet. Yeah. They're quiet and, and there isn't like, there's no vibrations being sent back through the boat yep. what, and what is like a ridiculous amount of horsepower. Um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna bring, pull, get the boat to a full stop. So I like the new throttle. Uh, there's, well, I'm not gonna talk about the digital gauge cause it's in Italian, but then <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, you up, down, enter, that looks like menu. Just on this side, you've got lever one, throttle, um, uh, so that's neutral. You've got your active trim, and then you've got different settings, up to five settings for the trim. That all makes kind of sense. Um, and uh, the sky hook and the joystick. I'll actually, when we stop just over there, I'll, I'll um, oh no, we'll do that for the walkthrough. We'll do some slow speed maneuvering. Um, but yeah, I like this throttle base and the new design, it's all quite ergonomic. This hull is very, very well suited to these motors. So this is all good stuff so far. Check around, all clear. So we're just gonna do, go zero to hero and to see how it feels. And then um, 
I think if you're more interested in this boat and want to get a more detailed understanding, stay tuned because there's going to be a walkthrough video which is separate to this one. So we'll do that. Okay, everyone holding on? All good? Got your phones? <laughs> Ready? I'm in manual trim mode and accelerating. I'm just going to accelerate slowly. And now, oh yeah, feel, feel the props engaging. Okay, now I'm coming through. Oh, there's the, there's the second gear. There's the second gear. Okay, 43, 44, 45, climbing, climbing, climbing. We're, we're just about to touch 50 knots. 50 and climbing. We've got a couple of waves. I'm going to go down the waves. Bang, bang, and back to full power. Incredibly good hull, this. It's really doing its thing. Look at that, I'm going over a couple of waves there. I just feel in control. I feel like this is a hull you would take really confidently offshore. Okay, that's enough. We just hit 54 knots, not a problem. I've got more in the tank. So, you know, with a little bit of practice, you could increase that takeoff speeds. That's my first time doing it. I probably could have trimmed it down a little bit more. I think I, I think I had a little bit of trim up that time, and it's, yeah, that's that's fascinating. We got so much power. You can feel the props wanting to bite in that low end, but when they bite, the thing just starts to surge forward, and then you feel the second gear engage eventually, yep. and it just does its thing. In seconds. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> I can do that every day. That's good input, <laughs> Ali. Thanks for that. <laughs> I like that. So look, guys, um, we're about to go film a walkthrough video. This thing's quite fascinating. I, I, Of all the maxi ribs, there's many maxi ribs out there, but Zar differentiate themselves. Um, they differentiate themselves by this hull form, and that cutting bow entry really does give you um, a wider envelope to operate in. They're only building these things in limited numbers. So if you're interested in a boat like this, basically you're gonna to have to get in touch with the guys because they're, they're not building a lot. So they're, they're gonna be few and far between. And you do feel like a rock star when you pull into port. So I think that just goes to the territory when you buy something like this. Yeah, you um, gotta be standard. <laughs> <laughs> so subscribe, leave us a like, um, give us a comment. Tell me what you think about this boat. Um, if, you know, if, I'll leave a link in the description for the other video, which is gonna be the detailed walkthrough. If you like this content, that I'm making, consider supporting my Patreon account. I make these videos for you. I don't take any, uh, you know, charge any money for the dealers or the factories for these. I just do it and I talk about it independently. Um, my name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Life. I shall see you on the next one.